PCOS in teenagers can be tricky to navigate. Even though PCOS is more commonly associated with adult women, it can also affect teenagers. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Gorgari. I'm a board certified pediatric endocrinologist and you're watching the Fem Health channel. First off, let's talk about the challenges of diagnosing PCOS in teens. While the exact numbers aren't clear, it's estimated that PCOS affects about 5-10% to of adolescents. Why is diagnosing PCOS in teens trickier than in adults? Well, this is because their bodies are still developing, and it's actually not uncommon for teenage girls to have irregular periods the first couple of years after their first period. So what are the signs and symptoms you should be aware of? Well, as just mentioned, irregular periods are a common symptom, but it's important to know that irregular periods alone may not be enough to diagnose PCOS in a teen. You should also look for excess androgen production symptoms like acne, facial hair, or body hair that seems to be way more than what is expected for the stage of pubertal development. Sometimes they can even have male pattern baldness. Some teens with PCOS can also have a lot of weight gain or difficulty losing weight, though not everyone has these symptoms. And why is it early diagnosis so important? Well, getting ahead of the diagnosis of PCOS in teens can actually help regulate their cycles, their ovulation, and reduce their long-term complications like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, they can improve their self-esteem by addressing all the emotional concerns that come along with a PCOS diagnosis. So if you are concerned that your daughter may have PCOS, it is essential to talk to her doctor. Here's what you can expect during the consultation. The doctor will discuss your daughter's medical history, the menstrual cycle patterns, and all her symptoms. They may also conduct a physical exam to check for signs of excess androgen production like acne or increased body hair growth. While there is no single test for PCOS, blood tests may be ordered by your doctor to check the hormone levels and also make sure there's nothing else going on that could explain the irregular periods. An ultrasound may also be used to examine the ovaries to look if they are cysts, but it's worth noting that sometimes having small cysts in the ovaries can also be normal and doesn't mean that the child has PCOS. Now, let's talk about treatment options. Lifestyle changes are key, including healthy eating habits, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight. Hormonal birth control, like birth control pills, can actually help regulate the menstrual cycles, improve acne, and reduce the excess androgen effects. And if insulin resistance is a concern, medications like metformin may be helpful. Remember, if you suspect your daughter may have PCOS, don't hesitate to seek medical advice early on. Early intervention can make a world of a difference. Thanks for tuning in today, and if you find this information helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful tips.